I'm Zelda Parkour TV in association with Matthews Jim Marbella. With me, I've got the Welshman Dal Evans ahead of his British and Commonwealth title challenge against Savage Sam Egerton. Just made weight, good chance to look into Sam's eyes. What, what do you take away from that? The excitement of uh, looking forward to food. Some night out. <laughs> no. Um, no, it's, you know, it's just something that's got to be done every time. We're going back now, chill, just look forward to tomorrow night. And I just explained to uh, the other interview there that I know tomorrow night's going to be a lot more exciting than the fight that was scheduled up between him and Frankie Gavin. There's going to be some serious fireworks in it. I can't wait for it now. You honestly think this fight will be more explosive than the original course, fight? Of course it will. Of course it will, yeah. You've got two, two people like Annette. You've got two people with lots of energy and like to throw a lot of punches. And, and one punch can change the fight. The scheduled fight, that, well, one person can hit, which was Sam. And, um, you know, well, I, I'm just looking forward to it. I just, I, I'm, I'm a massive underdog and I just can't wait to show that I, I, I ain't the underdog. Full respect to you, you've taken this fight at late notice. As MC John McDonald said to you, very professional of you, to travel to Sam's home city as well from Wales, come and lay it all on the line. How much does it mean to you to get an opportunity like this? No, it means everything. It's good, you know, and I, as I just explained to the, the other interview that um, it's not a, this isn't a grab for desperation, as like um, like I was going to knock a box in the head, as I explained. But it's not a grab for desperation, like this all or nothing. You know, this this could lead to better things. It, it may not, but it, it, at the end of the day, it's, it's a fight. It, it's, it's a fight. I was struggling to get any fights at all, but luckily this one came up. And the fights that I were having, you know, I was just boxing for pennies, and that's where I was. You know, I had to really think to myself, this isn't worth it anymore. Like the time I was taking off work to train for a fight, I wasn't even getting back yeah. in money from the fight. So yeah. roll on, roll on tomorrow night. I can't wait. I can't bookies, wait. The bookies have got Savage Sam Egerton as a clear favourite for this. Of course, yeah, yeah. Does that inspire you to go out and perform, or does it, do, do, think, do you think about things like that? Not at all. You know, I see it on. You know, I have a flick through the bets and things. Like I don't mind the bet myself. But <laughs> um, John, you know, as you just mentioned, um, John McDonald saying to me, you know, as a, you know, thank you for doing it, as if like, like I am a major underdog. But I, I don't see myself as a major underdog. I, I really, I fancy, really fancy myself for this. And tomorrow night, I will show that. I, you know, well, I am, they aren't the only one. It shouldn't be. It'd be a real fairy tale story if you do manage to come on and upset the apple card, and that's what boxing's all about, isn't it? That's yeah. they're the sort of stories that, that make boxing the great sport. Exactly, that it yeah. Is. You know I, mean? I could write a book after this. You know what I mean? And a film. Listen, as long as I get a men <laughs> long as I get a mention, I'm happy. Hey, so. Put me in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go and let you refeed. Weigh-in day should be called refeed day, really. Yeah, it should be. Hey. Should be, mate. Let you go and get your grub. Thanks for talking to us now. That's, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers.